Semu ju nganda, avudeyo na atabu kila minisa wevye njigiriza nebye mizanyo, ngono no, yeho na lewo jeneti kataha museveni. Mineno, bivade mparlamenti, uvade nga baku ngubagira obanga, bawa HT wa emilimo omugenzi Joyce mpanga jakule de Buganda, sakone Uganda okutwali zamu. Joyce mpanga yomu kubasomesa awadaba tendeke iranga na abana be abasomeseza mubana be tumanyiko mpanga akola mu cabinet ya buganda iranga abawa byataka i'm forgetting nayenga bambi yafanga ali miyaka 8 eyo yafa which a wedde iranga omubiri gwe gwalete dona ku lweggulu mu parliament okulabanga bagukubako eri sevanyi masako no kusima emirimo Jakole de NC Uganda. Katino, hona lewo se mju nganda ya vudeo na atabuka. Nga atabuki la minister webi njigiriza, sakone wa minister abala, sakone museveni. Nga agamba, omukazo ono yomu kwa dewa te guanyi za vyansi nyo. Na yenga akole da te NC ino kusinga abo betro oza antino valimu amakuru. Bino vye vigambo vye. <laughs> Kusawa laiki nga sharing nga to subscribe nge ompene commenti. Kuyona vyo gendo kuli na ngomazo kuochinga Tewe la vila kutika ko notification bell Tisimbule Mr. Speaker I want to begin By extending my condolence to the family Of late Honorable Joyce Mpanga Mr. Speaker At the beginning, our society glorified excellence. That's why the Jewish Impangas were able to make it to the top. I want to ask, Mr. Speaker, I am not a, one of the supporters of affirmative action. I think people need to fight. Those who fought like the Mpangas, that's, how, that's why they turned out the way they were. The affirmative action, especially once abused, opened the door to everybody. It ended up bringing kunkumura politicians. We are paying tribute. There is no order. Honor, well, I you know the language we use so <coughs> for, for purposes of the answer. Yes. If you can just say, nobody us understand. Let me use the word that President Yoel Museveni used. It brought fisher women. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, by empowering, by empowering uh, Joyce Mpanga, Honorable. That's why she was able to raise people whose titles, education background, we have all admired. What Mr. Speaker, other people do is to promote their children by appointment and military ranks. The Mpangas took their children to school. Mod, we now admire them. My message, since Mr. Speaker, you are our leader, is to tell those individuals who think that children can be promoted by military ranks and appointments and, and wives to think about the alternatives that the parents of the Mpangas took. Mr. Speaker, as we mourn our mother, Look at the education sector today. I am glad the Honorable Jesse Muyingo spoke. Because even the elite, people like uh, Honorable Jesse Muyingo, and that's why I keep blaming him, I know he will not be offended. I remember in the seventh parliament, Colonel Tom Butimi was appointed the Minister for Karameja Affairs and he declined. 
And I respect him. Because when you are educated, it means you must also know what you can do and what you cannot do. When I spoke about Kunkumura politicians, today you can be Minister for Fisheries, tomorrow they put you in, in garbage, tomorrow where, as long as they have made you a minister for you, you, you don't care. But can uh, me decline. But it is also dehumanizing to elevate you to a position where you cannot serve. And I want to invite uh, colleagues who are here, learn to decline. If they are asking you to punch above your weight, please say so that I am very sorry, I, uh, thank you very much, but I will not be in a position. It is even more painful when you are being asked to be supervised by people that you know really you should be the one supervising them. Honorable Jesse Muyingu. You went to school, I am referring now to Leti Mpanga. You went to school, to, did this master's, did this one, and then they bring senior to dropouts to be your supervisors. And you salute them. We are here thanking her because she went to school she was an educationist, but she also loved the excellence. That's why when you're talking about her children, you are all very happy. These shortcuts uh, are the ones that are killing the country. So I want to, Mr. Speaker, to say things before I sit. First, to thank the President for giving her State funeral. You know, one of the things, by the way, he equitably gives these state funerals official. So the other things uh, I refer you to the report of the Eco, Eco Opportunities Commission. The other things are dominated by others, but state funerals. The other day we had Honorable Chamber here. Now we have Honorable Joyce Simpanga. When we are mourning, you must also behave. Mr. Speaker, I read the new vision today, finally. The new vision, the editorial, and I'm speaking now, from... Just, uh, on, on our colleagues, you see, when we are paying tribute, there are... Uh, there, there, yeah, now we have point of procedure different from point of order. Now you stand up on procedure. When I try to explain to you, say this is order for all of us. Those are two different points. Okay? Please. So just, uh, you know, why we consider that? Emotion is you know, coming and all that. But I know where we stop and I know uh, I'll guide very well. On ever conclude? On ever some conclude? See, Mr. Speaker, you said we need to mentor younger MPs. <laughs> Finally, I am referring to the editorial of New Vision today. The New Vision today, writing about Honorable Joyce Mpanga, described her generation as people who did not chase after worldly things. and uh, made a call that to save this country, we need to return. I don't know why NRM MPs are agitated. So you want me to be speaking about you? We are now, speaking about Mpanga. But now, Honorable Semuju, yeah. you see, when you respond to people from the sides, then you're bringing an official communication onto the hands of parliament. Ignore, because they are not on record. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> so the plea in the new vision editorial is that we need to return the country to the era of the Mpangas. And that's why Professor Mshem Zahia was speaking about corruption. Honorable Cecilia is clapping. So that generation that glorified competence, that glorified excellence, 
that did not pick uh, people from <laughs> markets selling tomatoes and then begin laughing at them. And, and this should concern everybody. Someone has uh, appointed you to a very big position and is laughing at you. Says, I you live my fishermen. And for you, you are celebrating. We therefore want to thank the Honorable Joyce Impanga. And also ask uh, the family, Mr. Speaker, to continue with the legacy. Those of us who are not members of the family, we admire you. And there is a lot that we learn from you. May her soul rest in eternal peace. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever this guy speaks, <laughs> you never get disappointed. Uh, you say that you are Kungu Baga, but you'll find time to laugh. I mean, he always has points whenever she, uh, he's presenting at the floor of parliament. Oh, you know, when I was Samujunganda, Samujunganda, a chikira van to a chira nae, wano, Gawe Kugambi. Yabade, badeba honaringa, a medium. Uh, honorable abo wechitibwa Joyce Mpanga jakule de Uganda sakono of Uganda elanga ba mwade fino state fino elanga ba mtute mo parliament okulabanga ba mkungu ba gira yu nubi yu gambo vya semu junganda wabi holide <laughs> gulo zada tegezani eh, ba fisher men ba fisher women anyway that's all essential media Uganda kori subscribe inga like ngate share inga